Dozens of ultra-Orthodox schools were expected to open around Israel this morning, and clashes with police have been reported at at least three of them as they welcome students in direct contradiction to the closure orders around the pandemic. Now, prominent rabbis in the communities have been heavily scrutinized and criticized over recent weeks for telling their adherents to disobey the health guidelines, notably throughout the last two weeks of strict national lockdown. Nearly 40% of all new coronavirus cases have been detected in ultra-Orthodox communities. And to paint some more color on the situation here, we're joined by our senior correspondent, Owen Alterman. Uh, Owen, this is the public frustration uh, with this community has become, at least uh, in my estimation, increasingly tangible day by day here. The sky-high infection rates, coupled with low vaccination rates in their communities, many asking why an entire country must be shut down when that outbreak is so heavily localized in these communities. Can you break it down for us in terms of the political power they wield or what's behind it? Well, David, listen, the storyline has been part of the pandemic here in Israel from the get-go. Obviously, very, very hard to convince these communities to shut down the schools. These are the central institutions that they have. Obviously, hard to convince anybody to shut down the schools, but particularly in the ultra-Orthodox sector. I think the concern over the last few days is this. David, you can always find in a decentralized sector, and you have to emphasize just how decentralized and diverse the ultra-Orthodox sector is, you can always find outliers, particularly extreme groups who are going to be opening their institutions against government mandates. You can always go, for example, to the Mea Sherim neighborhood in Jerusalem and find some small extreme sect that's opened its institutions. The bigger concern over the last few days has been that more mainstream parts of the community First and foremost, the Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky has become a familiar face to a wide spectrum of the Israeli public over the past few months. He, the leader of the Lithuanian stream of ultra-Orthodoxy, as it's called, has in some cases been calling on the schools to close, but has been particularly strict about it. And it seems with a wink and a nod has been allowing more and more schools to open. And more of more concern, last night at the, at the close of the Shabbat, the head of the Vizhnitz Hasidic sect told, said explicitly that he wanted to see his elementary schools open. He then backtracked, but this is one of the largest, uh, David, Hasidic groups. So if he is playing with the idea of having the schools open, the Israeli public and political system might be able to tolerate a few small groups in Masherim in Jerusalem allowing schools to, and institutions to be open. But when it comes to these much larger, more mainstream groups, it just would not be easy to have that pass. The rest of the public sees this. Obviously, at that point, it starts to make a difference in the pandemic numbers that you just recited. So there has been a tremendous amount of tension. Of course, this is what's left of the loyalists in Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition, his own Likud base, not insignificant, but also the two ultra-Orthodox parties in the Israeli parliament. He needs them to be able to keep this coalition, to be able to build a new coalition after elections. So it's going to be very, very hard for Netanyahu to frontally try to apply and enforce the pandemic rules. On the other hand, it is at some point essential in terms of bringing down the numbers, in terms of restoring the Israeli economy. Netanyahu is certainly paying a big political price for his support. So it's a very, very tough needle for Netanyahu to thread. He's trying to do so, uh, but again, obviously may please nobody in the process, not pleasing the ultra-Orthodox partners and certainly not pleasing the wider public that does not like to see those kids go to school while their own kids can't.